I apologize in advance if I look somewhat derpy in this video because I just woke up from a two-hour nap um, and I have had very little sleep the past few days. Um, the Westboro Baptist Church. I made a video about them over a year ago and in that video I simply talked about why I don't give them attention because I constantly get requested to talk about my thoughts and my opinions on the picketing that the Westboro Baptist Church does. If you're unfamiliar with who the Westboro Baptist Church are, they are a group I would call a hate group of people, a radical uh, fundamentalist Christians who walk around with signs and picket funeral, uh, picket uh, military men's death, military women's deaths, um, gay people's deaths, uh, celebrity people, people who have helped the world in positive ways, they go and picket their funerals and all that shit, say, walk the streets and say, God hates fags. God hates fags. They're all about condemning um, homosexuality. Um, and they're very open and blunt about it, believe me. They walk around and say, literally, God fucking hates you. You motherfucking fag. Are you a fag? Are you a fag? God hates you. You're gonna burn in hell, you faggot. Short little, that's literally, that's literally what they do. Um, they don't say motherfucker, by the way, but they, they say faggot, because that's perfectly okay. Um, Fred Phelps is the main leader of the Westboro Baptist Church, and he, at this very moment, is dying in a hospital. Dying. That right, their leader, the man who's got excommunicated from the church due to his mentality and his, his beliefs, is dying right now. What do I think about this? Well, recently there was a Facebook page created that's been getting a lot of attention that has a thousand plus likes and people posting on it quite regularly, known as Picketing Fred Phelps death. Why? Like, really? Why? Because here's the thing. I don't see how fighting hate with hate is going to do a damn bit of good. I don't see how that's moving forward. In fact, by picketing atheists and skeptics people who are non-believers, by picketing Fred Phelps' deaths when, death when he dies within the next month or two, by doing that act, we are showing, not only the Westboro Baptist Church, but we are showing that we are no fucking different than them. And you may say to yourself, but no, wait, he deserves to be picketed. He deserves to be hated on upon his death. He deserves what's coming to him. No, he doesn't deserve that people have picket his death. Do you know why? Because nothing you or I can do will ever change the mind of the Westboro Baptist Church members. It won't happen. I've watched the videos. I've seen them to debate with people on the street. They are so embedded and, and their mindset is so enrooted in, the, in what do they believe that nothing I say you say is going to change their mind. And by picketing Fred Phelps' death, we are lowering, lowering ourselves to the exact same standard that they do. No different. You do not fight hate with hate. And as much as I dislike them, as much as hate as they spread, if there's one thing in this world that we do not need more of, it's hating on other people who hate others. We can disdain them, don't like them, not support them, but performing the same action to degrade ourselves to their same level? I'd rather spend 10 minutes of my day washing my toilet Although it shouldn't take me 10 minutes to wash my toilet, it should be like, like a minute. But you know what I mean. There are so many more productive things than wasting your time with picketing a man's death. A death that probably won't be missed, at least by me and others. But we don't fight hate with hate. And this page, picket Fred Phelps' death, shame on you. Shame on you for lowering yourself to the same people who lowered themselves to everybody around us. You're achieving nothing by this. And I understand that that temporal, you know, let's hate on Fred Phelps for, for all the shit that he's done, may, may make you feel good inside. But ultimately, it's a step backwards for us moving forward in bringing happiness, peace to this world. What do you guys think about this? Should we picket Fred Phelps' funeral and show him that, yeah, this is what you deserve? See you? You're dying. Your God ain't saving you. Let's picket you. 
God doesn't save bigots or something like that. Although that's actually kind of clever. God doesn't save bigots. Because based upon the Christian... Actually, no, you know what? I've seen this debated many times. Um, I've seen people actually argue, people who are non-religious argue that the Westboro Baptist Church is a more accurate form of, of Christianity. And if they really... that that To an extent, I would say that's actually true because the Bible does, in fact, condemn homosexuality. And they're preaching on the streets that God hates homosexuality. So it seems appropriate that they would do that. Well, most... Not all Christians, um, at least some Christians I know, like the cherry pick... They believe in gay rights, they believe that being gay is perfectly fine, but they pick and choose what to believe in regards to the Bible. Um, I don't like that, um, but in any case, that's what they do. But I want to ask you guys again the question, should we pick at Fred Phelps' funeral? I don't believe we should. If you think we should, I would like to hear your answer, your response. Type a comment down below, tweet me, make a video response to this video. I want to know what you guys really think about this, because I think this is a very moral slash ethical choice, and that I want to know that if I am not the only one who is alone on this issue of why we should not picket his death. Once he's dead, he rots into the ground, guys. That's it. There's no need to glorify and dance on his grave and say, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Hate, hate, hate is gone, with additional hate. You may, you may, you may say to yourself, it's not hate, but that's what it is. That's what it is. And we will never improve and we will never move forward if we fight hate with hate all of the time. There are certain exceptions and certain situations where I think that is acceptable to do, but in situations like this, it is not. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments below. Thank you for watching.